15 days. So in 15 days, we see like some type of number. Like, I wonder if he's going to be like, we won. He takes things off. And then, of course, it gets bad. And then we have to place the rules again. Ken, how long, how much patience do you think Americans as a population have of turning it on and off as you get it? I don't think, I, look, based on, based on the models that have been happening, that have been going on, I, it seems like this is going to last <sighs> somewhere around three months till peak. And then another three months to be done with it. To, for it to like, I, just, so this is, I mean, we'll see how UK does, right? I'm looking at these numbers and they look pretty bad. Um, I, you know, I will see. But I'm thinking their way of, I don't even know. I think they probably shut down school away. I don't really know their strategy yet. Do they still have bars open? You know, that's what they were doing early on. Their idea was, hey, I'll, I'll I can't make this up. more yeah, clear. I can't make this more clear. I ha I, I'm sorry, I have to stop you for a second. I, I can't make this more clear. There, there's too many people. To stop. Hold on. I can't make this more clear. Like this idea, Chase's mic is popping off. I'm muting. Um, this idea that we need to just isolate the 65 and up and just continue our lives. And use like weak precaution or standard precautions and everything like that, but continue right. like continue all that. That is going to get us killed. Okay. We need to. And I'll call like, it this is a really, system. really bad idea. Really bad. But you don't think this then requires 18 months or 12 months of doing this and then the effect? I don't know. I don't know if okay. it's going to be six months. I don't know if it's going to be 12 yeah. months. I don't know if it's going to be 18 months. Here's what I know. I wouldn't be surprised if it takes a lot more time or if it takes or, or if it gets really bad because of ideas like this. Because of okay. people who are spreading nonsense like this, it could be that very ethos in the U.S. that causes things to get really, really bad compared to other countries. By the way, you're very aggressive, right? And your point, and I get it. You're trying to save lives. You know, it's a very global warming alarmist type thing. If the projections don't start matching up, you're saying, are you worried about that, or do you always have cover and you say, oh, our plan worked. I, you know, and I'm vindicated. Or when you start to walk it back, like, oh, okay, maybe. Maybe I oh, look, look, I yeah, listen, listen, look, if everyone does, look, if a country does absolutely nothing and, and, and just like nothing Not happens, yeah, let's sure. say, let's keep it, you know, so we, well, let's steal or, or if we use general, that strategy, sure, general, if we use general, that strategy, sure, if countries that okay. use that strategy, they were that, they use that strategy and then, you know, they saw success, fine, that's fine, no, I'm not, oh, I'm completely open to, um, to data, right. it's just that the countries that are, it's just, first of all, either, number one, no country is going to be dumb enough to do what this strategy is, and or two. Um, Wait, 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 let me ask you, did UK do it? Like, what is UK doing? Like, I don't, I don't know what UK, I don't know what, I, I don't know what UK, have, I don't know what UK They might have UK's their doing. bars open still, and they might have their restaurants. Okay, and then, that's really, then that's really, then that's really dumb, and, and UK is not doing well. UK is in exponential yeah, growth. I got it. UK is... is doing really badly, and they're going to continue to do really badly. This is just starting. Okay. There's, again, we, we have data. The data's in. We only know of two countries that did, that, that so, so far beat this thing. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But they, that's, I don't see us doing that. We can't be robotic. We're, we're not like that. We're not like that. We can do, we oh, yeah, can do something along, okay, we're not going to do what China did. China, look, you Google have the last strategies. The you Google have the China list? strategy and the South Korea strategy. We don't know anyone else that actually beat this thing. Wait, and do we trust China? Are they having a second wave, or are they we trust? I don't know. Look, South uh, Korea may be having a second wave, but this is better. Look, it's better than than just continuing okay. in exponential growth the whole time. Two strategies seem to have worked. And First do strategy. Think, do you think while we have the equipment right available, do you think we overuse it, or do you think it's being stressed now? Like, oh no, we have the equipment. What? Give it to the young guy that's probably going to survive. Do, is that going on or do I, I don't know right now. That's oh, not okay. right now. That's not going on. We're not rationing care right now. I wouldn't be surprised right. if we were in the future. If it got to that point right now, we're not rationing care. And, um, you know, that's, that's my feeling. So the number that I showed you where the guy saying, Oh, this many of the young people, 1% of, you know, this age group will need it. And then 5% will really need it of that 1%, you know, very tiny number. Like, is there a point that they're overusing the equipment? And then when no, we're stressed, no, we're not over, we're not oh, venting okay, we're people not unnecessarily. No, uh, uh, no, we're not venting people unnecessarily, dude. Like, you don't understand. Like there's a, okay. People, we're run, we're not running out of vents because we're venting people unnecessarily. Here's the issue: the issue is 
our capacity, our surge capacity is not like going from zero to capacity with this virus. We're already needing a certain amount of that capacity, about 40%, yeah, no, just is, because uh, of everything else that we normally need it for. Okay. It's not like you're taking a cup and filling it from nothing to full with the virus. Like you're taking a cup that's already partially full to begin with. Right. And let me ask you, um, there was a 100,000 number floating around. I don't know the viability of it. I never saw that prediction. But some people in your shoes, they, they said that, that the alarmists were predicting right now we would have 100,000 uh, deaths. And now it doesn't matter. No, no, they're people. predicting okay. a lot more than that. No, I'm saying right now we would have, we were supposed to be at 100,000 right now. And yet it didn't show up. You know, it's having that global warming. Type wait, wait, what's the, what's the citation for that? Um, I'll have to find it. Not, they didn't show a citation. Just somebody said, the people that were saying it was 100K. Is uh, I'll need, I need, no, I need, I need, I don't need people like saying this, this, or that. Yeah, I need that's, people, that's, I need I, like okay, actual was, papers and publications and models. Some like, guy I from Twitter type of. Uh, okay, no, I don't, that, that, no, 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 no. Okay. I'm not well, into, no, 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 listen, listen. I didn't get it confirmed. Listen, so I'm not interested in some guy from Twitter. Right. So there was nobody saying we would have a massive more deaths right now, this date, that back a month ago. That didn't happen. The I, I don't know. I don't, again, I, okay. I don't know. You'll have to show me. What right. I, Did you have a model of where you thought we would be a month ago? And did it match up? Are you happy with it? Or I have seen, the model I've seen is the one I've posted. Okay. I'll post it again. Here's the, here, it was for the one done by the UK. You've this probably like seen it ago, already. Two months ago, how far uh, back was it? I'll take a look. This that model doesn't uh, back propagate; they project forward, so they are projecting deaths. Yeah, I just wanted to see if somebody that's really aggressive towards, hey, oh my God, chaos! You know, the type of the Y two K person. It's, this is not what. No, 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 no. no. Hey, listen, this is not what what I'm doing. I'm not. Oh my God, chaos! What I'm. No, no, I know you're not. But I'm saying like. Yeah, but here's the. Here, what you don't understand is that, here, here's the issue. How many people are going to die here is a function of our attitude. Like, that's what people don't get. How many people are going to die is, a, is very much a function of how we respond. And if people think like you, and if people think like this type of way where it's like, oh, everyone's just blowing it up, everyone's doing that, more, far more people are going to die if people don't take this seriously. The ethos, the general way of people thinking in, from country to country, actually determines how many people are going to die. I am, following, um, I am following all the rules and everything. Um, so I'm just pushing this I, idea I understand. I find I it under interesting. I, and if I, I was in charge, no, 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 I would no, 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 no. I, I, I don't okay. Listen, whether you, whether you follow the rules or not is, is not relevant yeah. to what I'm saying. Even if you follow all the rules, if you are spreading without really, really checking your facts and the experts who have spread their lives doing this. If you are starting to spread or play down things, you influence other people. I'm not a heavy influencer. I'm just talking to you. Okay, I understand, but I've, I've, seen, you, I've seen you posting. I've seen yeah, you yeah. posting at AY. I've seen you posting here. And have you seen the reaction? It's a very, like, if, if somebody just came in here and started saying global warming's a myth or flat earth, type of thing, you know that attack that they get on them? That's what I've been getting. So, I, you know, good, good. I hope you continue to get that attack. I hope, I hope, so I hope that's the ethos. I'm not an influencer. There's not, that, that's not going on. I, I don't, listen, I don't know how many, even, anyway, look, the point, the point of the matter is, look, okay, the data is, look, here's the model that has, I've posted this in the AY Discord. I'll post it here. This will be posted in general. By the way, ask yourself as a way of recording people without permission. Does that happen here, or, or and not that I no, care? No, no, no. It's in the rules. In the rules, uh, in the AY Discord, um, it specifically states that. Oh, the models have already been posted in general. It specifically states in the AY Discord that uh, it's a recording server. You could, you can be recorded if you are in the server, and if, if you are in the server, you agree to that. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a problem with it. I just wonder if that was the same rule here. That is the actually I should I should add it to the rules. Um, yeah, let me. I will add that to the rules. Uh, that if you are here and you are recorded, you are. That's just the way it is. Hey, a lot of those things I posted myself. Like the first one with the age groups I posted, and then I also posted that last one that shows you know how ineffective the kids thing is. Like when they.
move that much. Now I get it, it's still way above the, the light, but I just wanted to point that out. Yeah, that yeah, and the, that's lines. the thing, like, South Korea didn't just do these things. Like, they did these things, and then they tracked everyone who, they mass tested and tracked everyone who was positive and stayed away from them using GPS. Like, you, downloading apps and using GPS to, like, track everyone, and they all, like, got on board with it. And keep, keep what I'm, I'm, I'm recommending is that blue one, the, the smallest of them, but still above the, the red. The blue one is horrible. The blue one is yeah. terrible. Compared to the green one, I'm saying. I'm saying. Yeah, no, compared to the green one, it's better, but compared to, like, what we could be doing, it's hard. No, that's that's terrible. That's a, that's a nightmare. That's harrowing. And I want to add that the would also include the general social dis distancing, you know, the culture of hygiene that we've been doing lately. So now yes, just, but we may. But the point is that that these things it, they're great. They're better than doing nothing, but they may not be enough. We we very likely will need to do more, especially in our in the United States. And the reason for that is because. We have a contingency of people who are dedicated to influencing others to not take this seriously. I also, I know this is robotic and everything, but the guy that's posting, if he's still listening, if he could post that last one where it shows the on and off switch strat, which these, this uh, report ended up concluding that this be the best method. Of course, I think you guys would agree that the second time won't be as effective as the first, the third won't, you know, we'll start losing patience for it and it, it get less and less effective. So that one. The idea is to keep it long enough so that we have an effective vaccine until we have effective right, right. vaccine well, treatments. Which is 12 to 18 months, right? Yeah, which is, we, well, we don't know. It depends. It varies, but sure. I mean, it... Well, we, phase we, one test just happened with the average, like, what do you expect? I don't, I don't know. I don't know because I... I don't know because there's a lot of there's a lot of red tape that's being cut that would normally happen in clinical trials for this, and so I don't actually what what the time from phase one to the time f from approval may be very different from what we would normally see in clinical trials. So right and rightfully so, like the, the red tape should be cut in these in cases like this. People are a bit unfair, you know, I shouldn't read the comments, but just so you know, I've thought of the implications of, of, the, of the, the worst case scenario, of that. but I'm also thinking of, you know, what the bad economy will have. And I've also given... But, but you, but you have to the consider other... what the impact, listen, you have to consider what the impact of the economy is going to be if we do take this strategy and, and we do have all these people dying and, and getting and, and flooding our hospitals and surging them. Like, it, this is going to screw our economy either way. It's not like it's not like you're gonna just uh, you know well we'll let them all die but our at least our economy will survive like no your yeah, economy yeah. is gonna get I'm fucked not, if that happens. I'm not thinking that they all die. I, what I'm thinking is that we won't need as much equipment as the people have been saying that projecting it and the, the even if that's true we would need would to have so much we would need rates. so much it doesn't matter even if that's true it would have to be down so much lower that it would be the estimates would have to be so off. And um, I know that they won't do it, but um, could you, do you have any idea what this, you know, thing would do to our economy in terms of the suffering that that would cause? I know you think the, this method of trying to flatten the curve is better for human suffering, but uh, do, you have, uh, sure. do you have any range of how much worse or better? I think overall the economy, look, I think overall the economy, if anything, I can't speculate on, it's not my expertise. But I think there are spec just as easily, I could just as easily come up with speculations for the economy doing better if we do these things than if we do other strategies like leaving everything open. And the reason for, in the long run, I'm saying, on the, on the overall, in the long run, I think in the short term, sure, the economy will be better. I think in the long run, no, I don't think so. By the way, I, I also mentioned that um, I do think in the short term mortality rates will drop from the bad economy. No workplace accidents, no driving, the clean air and water that we're getting now, those things will have an effect now. The, the adverse effect, I think, is going to be worse long term. Divorce, depression, drinking, high blood pressure and stress from everything. By the way, high blood pressures would lower your immune system to this, will make you a high risk. And then you'd have to compare that. You'd have to compare that to what the economy yeah. would be if you actually did a strategy that would get all these the hospitals surged um, and all these people killed. Yeah, I mean, I think that may be worse. I don't know. It's speculative either way. By the way, I want to, I want to see if you read this report. Do you know? What my strategy, what uh, what are the impacts of what they are guessing the death would be? 
I, I don't know because I don't know anyone who takes your strategy seriously. Uh, uh, it's it's actually um, it's still pretty high, which I think they're you know of course I have the feel I I'm still gonna be on your side, right? If I had to push drive this boat, I would drive what the experts are telling me. I do the status quo. I would hope oh, some other leader would try this so that we can compare. But um, yeah, uh, it, it turned out to 1.5 million. It's like half of of uh, of, of the worser strats, but uh, it'd be it cut that in half is what they're what their end guesstimate is. But um, I want to pay attention to that one that's where they're turning it on and off. Like, do you visually think that that's, that, that's going to happen with us? Like turning off and on the... Uh, I don't think it's going to be that clean. Okay. I think like it's, it's there could be, yeah, sure. Like quarantines only can last for a certain amount of time before someone gets out to another region and just starts the thing over again. And then you have to re-quarantine and, and, and re-quarantine other regions, sure. Um, but again, this is better. This is better, <laughs> far better than just letting just letting things continue to exponentiate. And uh, I, it seems like you're under the impression that the first wave of numbers is going to be pretty damn high. If they, if we are too effective and the numbers are low, is it going to get people more like me to start? You know, kind of say, "Oh yeah, yeah, this guy was a little bit of an alarmist." Of like, course, you listen, about- listen. You're gonna you the you you guys. If we if we, even any, I think even if we play China, I think even if we lock people in their houses and completely lock down regions, and sh- even if people even if people die of the disease or, or or and we just lock them in their homes, I think if we do those things and we're successful and and the virus gets uh, contained, I think people like you. I think people like who are who, I think the down players, the Zoe Harcoms, the Candace Owens, the complete idiots are going to go. See, this wasn't so bad after all. Yeah, they're absolutely going to do that. And do you have any kind of pause, like when you see, like, and I'm in uh, Miami Beach, and we've been getting really strict from the pressure. At first, they were kind of weak and letting screen breakers go to the beach, but now today and last night, they got really strict. Um, and I'm seeing like the general population just being okay with it, like a little bit too okay. And it kind of makes me uncomfortable that they're able to be that comfortable. And then the whole thing, I don't know if you saw California, which you're probably happy about, but the, the whole everybody's got to stay in their house, you know, that kind of thing. Yes, of that, that was the right, that was the right, de- these were, that was the right decision. And the only problem I have with, with Florida is that they didn't do it soon, soon enough. And I, I kind of feel like the Miami people are not going to be sick. Like, um, in, I don't, tell me if I'm wrong about this, but the beach, the sea air, the, the humidity, I don't see anybody getting infected there. Uh, that's just an opinion. You have no clue what's going to happen, my friend. And then let me just say one more thing. So they've locked the beaches, but what happens is now, now it did work. I think for the most part, spring breakers have left. I was pretty impressed by that, but there is a lot that remained, and, you know, just the general population, but now they don't have the beach and, you know, more widespread error. Now they're we're going to be, they're idiots. The they're complete idiots for going to the beach. They're complete no, 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 but I'm idiots like, for congregating. At least before we had the beach, now everybody's concentrated to the sidewalk. So few that have remained. So it is a lot fewer, but now they're concentrated. They don't have the sea air. There may be, there may be ways of, the, you may have to crack down and force them in their homes. I don't know. But the point is that the people like with these attitudes are the problem. The people with attitudes like the ones that you're talking about, these people are going to get us killed. Like these people are going to destroy us. Did you account for that though? The the rebel, especially when American, we hate being do. Account for that and think, hey, maybe if we, you know, we're strict on the old people and you know, no, general, no, uh, again, no, that's not fight. going to work. Even if the old people didn't exist, it wouldn't work. Okay, because I'm thinking you're going to run out of patience from people and the that no. the dumb side, the side Listen, you feel is dumb. Oh, dude, 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 dude. I, I, I can't, I can't continue this. Is like you're not a cool okay, conversation. I'm sorry. Like, thanks look, for your time. I can't, I, I can't. Like, look, here's the bottom line. Like, this is, this is serious. People need to take this seriously. The only people, the only countries who have gotten through, gotten anywhere with this, are the people who have taken this as serious as you can imagine. Point me to any other country that has that has had any success that hasn't taken the shit out of this seriously. Like, I mean, honestly. I like Hungary, and I feel like they're honest with their numbers, but they didn't get it at all. Hungary? Yeah. I don't know. Look at their numbers. This is just starting for Hungary. What are you talking? Like, okay. You, okay, dude. Dude. 
dude, dude, I don't think you're equipped to have this conversation. Look, when I say getting successful, I mean like going actually not just starting. I mean going, they've went through it. They've experienced the exponential growth and they've successfully flattened it out. We're not hungry. We've, it's too late for us, even if they were able to, to, to not get it, which they aren't. They're just starting. We are already in the exponential growth phase. The question is, how do we get out of it? All right. I, I think you have to take account the dumb population, the people that you hate. Um, just and maybe we'll see. We'll see. That we're, we'll be able to get this data. It's not an answer to the question. Goes. Look, we we have it's relevant to the point also. We have already gotten into the exponential growth phase. We're not like Hungary. We're not like any of these random countries that maybe have a, a handful, like a, a much lower amount of cases. And maybe they may, there may be some countries who can isolate off and not get any of them. I think Hungary is just starting. But again, the question is, the issue is the following. It's too late for us to can be compared to Hungary. Even if that were the case, it's too late. We're already in the exponential growth phase. How many countries have there been that have been in the exponential growth phase that have successfully flattened the curve out? Yeah, two. China and uh, yeah. the, the, the other one, South Korea. The other one. China yeah, and South I, Korea. Again, like, do you think we can follow their model? And I, I don't even want to include China in the model just because, I don't know. I, I don't know. If you I don't. I, I, I'll be more than happy to try South Korea's method. What I'm not happy is to try your method. Okay, <laughs> Oh, uh, by the way, would you, I guess you wouldn't, but would you want somebody else to do it just so that we can compare? Because I think this sets like a precedent for... Oh, I, would I want other people to play guinea? Like if, no, I, don't, I, I think it would be a yeah. horrible idea. I, I, I would want other people to die for the sake of your curiosity. Do you think this is a bad blueprint to put out for everybody, like terrorists or whatever, just so that they know, hey, this is what they do every time this happens? Like, do you, is that any kind of worry? I think a bigger worry at this point is the virus getting us all, getting, uh, getting millions of people killed right now. Mm. And I'm also, it's not necessarily the, the uh, case that it's not necessarily the case that that's going to be our blueprint. We may have evolve, may evolve other strategies to deal with in the future. The hunger yeah, situation is flawed because it depends upon accurate. I'm sorry. Start again. Uh, you just the one talking. I kind of stopped on you. Yeah, your Hungary citation depends on accurate data, and the Hungarian government has not committed to doing testing. So their, uh, tests, gotcha. their tests, their tests per capita are low, and they're not. Yeah, I just figured Hungary is they're not. On. They're not. They're not retroactively okay. uh, testing cases either. So individuals right. who have died are just diagnosed with pneumonia or the flu or the cold. Uh, this is very similar. To when you cited Denmark without understanding what was going on in Denmark. Yeah, I think, totally I, think I think I think that when I banned you from AY, I recommended that you actually read the literature before you step into a public discussion again. Uh, I apologize. Like, I didn't it know seemed, you... it seemed, it seemed, well, no, it seems like Avi is having the exact same uh, issues that I had with you, which is that like, you you have these very strong opinions, but you're not acquainted with the literature. You're not even acquainted with the news, and when people push you on your position, you quickly descend to intuition or it's just my opinion. And you have to understand that yeah, you're right about that. There are there are thousands of lives at stake and thousands of people's well-being at stake. This disease, Again, want, this, this disease does not just kill people; it also it also causes idea. permanent lung damage in some individuals. I know the idea is, hey, he's giving out this information that's really dangerous. I, I tell you, I have no move in this. So I think you guys are motivated to like really get crazy. Uh, I'm not fair, motivated. What, do you I'm, know what I would do in this situation? Of I'm people? not motivated. As a fellow human being, I am okay. kindly, you know I'm kindly, I, I'm, I am kindly telling you to shut the fuck up until you know what you're talking about. And until then, just follow the ordinances. And in the meantime, when you're quarantined safely at home, spend that time reading up on the literature. But until then, just shut the fuck up.
You mentioned a couple of things, just so you know. I have read the literature. Um, I, you didn't even know that. What do you think I would do as a leader? I don't think you would answer correctly. And uh, what was the other thing that you said? Oh, yeah, I didn't read the IC report. I did take what you told me to heart, and it did uh, make me a skeptic after I read it. And I do know these numbers, so I, I don't know, you know, if you knew that already. I just wanted to make that clear. And I do follow everything that we're supposed to be doing right now. I, I'm taking this very seriously. The one thing that you're not doing, though, as Avi and I have told you multiple times in this conversation, is speaking only where you have a position to speak. You have very unqualified opinions that are dangerous, and you need to stop uh, talking about them in that way. If you want to think conjecturally, keep it to yourself, or maybe a small group of conspiracy theorists in your helm. But please stop spreading misinformation and harmful opinions if it can't be backed up by the science. All right, I'll do that, um, if, especially if it avoids me getting kicked out. I don't agree with it. I would like to talk my opinions for anybody that wants to hear it and the people that don't believe. I do not have this influence that you're talking about. And, you know, again, I would do the status quo. And especially if my experts are telling me this is what we do, and I'm looking at other countries, what they're doing, I would follow along their position. Now, I think this is, this is a strong case to be made here. Maybe I'm not making it, but it, it seems pretty good to me. I think you guys are not taking, we'll see too. We're going to get this data and then, you know, you know, we'll see if we got pie on my face or not. But I think you're going to start to see, you know, people losing patience with the on and off switch. And the numbers are not going to reflect that much different between us and UK. Now, I know you're probably going to get upset because UK has probably been more stricter. I'm talking about what they were doing for the, a longer time where they had the bars open, the restaurants. I'm sure they probably followed suit. I don't know if the bars are still open. I know they shut down the schools, but they had the schools open. So, you know, those are the, some of the interesting things to look at moving forward and seeing what other countries are taking that idea. Let me, uh, I'm going to post a quote, too, of one of the people from the UK so you can see that they were thinking, taking this serious. Now, of course, I'm an idiot and everybody's, you know, calling me moron or whatever. But I just want to show you that some people in positions of leadership, they know the information, too. Uh, I don't think this guy was just a stupid politician. He had he was he was part of the health thing. He had his his uh, theory of what to do. Even if what you're saying is not going to kill people, it's also just really frustrating dealing with someone who makes the claims that you make without rigorously examining the accuracy of them. Right, it means I can't point. trust anything that you say. Um, and I have to look and meticulously examine every empirical claim that you make, and I can't take any of your numbers at face value. Because I know that you haven't, you don't have the wherewithal, you haven't done the rigorous examination to make sure anything you're saying is correct. I mean, we all kind of pretty know that it affects the old people a lot more. I know, I know you're not getting it. You have started making claims about Hungary and you didn't have rigorously look into it. You've, you've made other claims about Denmark and you didn't rigorously look into it. You made claims about, um, you made claims about that were coming to flattening out. Because we have today, we had a, you know less cases of death hey, in the United on. States without yeah, realizing that's say, completely say right normal way. and exponentiating. What you have you heard the way I talk? I always give like a, a, I do a sandwich, right? I said, "Hey, the new cases have not flattened out," and then I give what has flattened out for the first time. Now I get it. You've you've had it's your not flattening out. No, that doesn't right, mean flattened out. But it's something to look at. That something is the first. No, time that it dude, happens. it's not. Okay, no, no, it's no, it's no, it isn't. It's no, it's not because this normally happens during an exponential growth. You will have a day or so. Look at Italy. Italy's still an exponential growth. Look at their new cases every day. You do see downticks once in a while. It's still an exponential growth. That's completely expected. Italy also has uh, reached its capacity for testing, so they can only test thirteen thousand people a day. And so you'd expect some variation uh, around. Yeah, I don't like new cases, just so you know. Day. Let me just tell you what I cared about. I cared but about even before that, that even was... before capacity, by the way, even before capacity, you saw downticks. And they were still clearly in the exponential phase. I, I know you guys are catching up. Not everybody's here. But what I care about is deaths. 
serious and critical. Deaths cases. two. Deaths yeah. two. I that happened with deaths two in Italy. Here, actually, I have the charts on hand from yesterday. It's like not so updated, but it's like twenty four hours. Wait, let me. We can look at. Just. Do I have to screenshot this for you, or can you just look? Uh, I'll just screenshot it. Here, no, I have I have them uh, in general for you. Like, there's Italy. You can see that. They no, were I want the. No, no, no. I want the. Hold on. I'll do it. Yeah, no, Italy's terrible, by the way. Italy, well, Italy, no, Italy, you're not Italy. getting it. You're not. You're not okay. understanding. Okay, I'm gonna hold on. Daily deaths. Okay, hold on. All right, I'm screenshotting it so you understand. It's gonna the be point. the zigzags, so sometimes it goes down. <laughs> look, look. But yeah, I would like to see ages of people that are getting the sickness. That to me is more important. Dude, shut up for a second. Look. Do you see this is yeah, exponential growth? Yes. Okay, good. Do you see that on some days there's a downtick? Yes. Yes, that's completely expected in exponential growth. I know. Hey, but it's good to see. Is it anything, anything good about seeing it for the first time drop? Is that anything? No, not necessarily. Okay. This is, Again, it's completely expected that some of the days you're going to see a downtick. This is not something you should look at and be like, oh, this is a good sign. It could be just a completely normal expectation of exponential increasing death. Because I, I, I just want you to understand my point, so I, I get you it. Don't have a point. No, you don't have a point. No, that's the whole I think. You, you don't have a point here. Is it you just don't want me to make it because it's a, it's, it's No, because you don't or... have it. You think you have a point that you... That you Would you mind you me saying it point. and maybe you'll see something or no? You don't even want me to try. What you've told me about flattening out is not a point. What do you think is the point that I want to make, though? Because it has, it has barely little to do with that. Like, why do you? Think All I, I know care is that not. Why do you again, think I, care I don't. I don't care. Right now. All I'm saying again, dude, okay. dude. All I'm, my my point that I'm making is that you are making claims without rigorously examining them. It's true. Do you know why I would care though about deaths and critical serious cases? You are okay. I don't. Want, I don't. You are making claims without rigorously examining them. That's true. That's what is irritating. It's irrit It's it's extra irritating because it can can cause death and increase the amount of people who are going to die. But it's generally irritating to talk to someone who makes claims and asserts things without actually rigorously looking these things up. It just tells me you're a bad faith actor. Yeah, I mean, I find it more bad faith not even to letting me make a point or trying to make. A okay. Goodbye. Answer. Bye. I don't need that in this community. Yeah, that was the same value judgment I had with him in AY. Um, like, the thing is, the point that it got me was when he mentioned Denmark as an example for his model without realizing that Denmark had closed non-essential workplaces and schools a week prior, and he was citing those oh, as... He as reminds me, you know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of Jevin. Yeah. yeah. He reminds me of Jevin. That's 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 who I thought of when I was interacting <laughs> with him. Good old Jevin, author of the Awakened Date. <laughs> um, the the hungry claim today was peculiar to me too. I didn't want to like uh, distract you, but uh, hungry has been taking this on like full force. They're closing schools and businesses, and they've uh, been producing fifty thousand masks a day locally. I don't really know why he referred to them. And again, like it, it seems like the cases are more an artifact of the fact that they aren't reporting, and they also only do like fifty tests a day. Yeah, I don't know with this guy. All right, I'm out of here. Gotta charge his internet back up. <laughs>